name is Green Hassan! Hello and welcome back to my Polish campaign. In the previous episode, a lot of things happened. First of all, I finally annexed Byzantium over here, yet a lot of development. What is more, when my king died, I inherited two thrones, Swedish and Danish throne. So thanks to that, I united Scandinavia over here. Uh, what is more, I conquered a few provinces from Muscovy, a few from Mamluks, and I pacified the same, so I no longer have the elective monarchy. And why did I do that? F basically, elective monarchy uh, takes from you a lot of uh, maximum absolutes, I think it was 20, and absolutes gives you administrative efficiency, which I will need to make a world conquest. So that's the reason. Of course, you can see that I'm able to take the last reform in the HRE, but of course I will not do that because um, it is not set over here, but it would mean that I will lose all these reforms. So I will not have construction cost, uh, uh, diplomatic reputation, co-creation cost, which is really, really important. It's not only the cost of uh, making cores, but also it's the time. The co-creation cost uh, decreases the time of, ma of making cores claims. Cores, <laughs> of course. Okay, and today I'm planning to attack um, Bachmanis, so we should start making claims because I don't think that we've got any. And I'm making that to make a um, border with Bengal. And I will attack both of these countries to have a border with Ming to decrease their mandate, which is growing pretty fast right now, but it's just 30. So we should uh, make uh, the border as fast as possible. Oh, revolt in Wismar. Also over here. So let's go to. Uh, they take it by, by, it by of themselves. We can go help uh, the Bohemians because they have some pretender rebels. Yes, of course it's not this potent succession for me because I cannot form a personal union with my vassal, at least uh, not like that, not by a disputed succession. Um, just envoy travel, travel time, let's see if I can make start a war on something. No, they are allied to Transoxania and Ceylon, so I maybe repair a little bit my border go over here. We will see, we can also see that, mm, let's see, um, what is that? Mm. Some development for loyalty of burgers, but I would lose a lot of income by decreasing my uh, daily loyalty, because they, they are not only uh, giving me 15% of uh, tra admin efficiency, trade efficiency, uh, but I would, with negative loyalty, I would lose uh, the next 10%, so not. I'm not doing it. Tuscany. Okay, Tuscany is pretty big nation. And the year of the king is just 15 years. Okay, I, I think I will not fight on the for the throne. Or maybe I have a lot of free relations. YOLO. Maybe it will work. I'm not conquering them anyway for now. So we will see. Yeah, of course, uh, I think I'm planning to make um, one faith in this campaign. So I think it's very possible um, with a lot of vassals. Uh, I, for now, I've got counter reformation, so it helps me. Um, I think we will see. Maybe I should enforce region on Great Britain. Yes, let's do it. They have now 61, uh, 61 liberty desire, but I can pay off the debt, and it is 51 now. Okay, I can develop one of the provinces, you can see that the cost of it is very low. So let's do it, and now the Liberty Desire is 46. And they will start being Catholic, they should start converting all the provinces. What about the chance of inheriting the throne? It's minus 38% because they're huge, what about Castile? 
think it's the same, minus 15, yeah, because I gave them the provinces of Portugal, but it was all planned. Alright, we've already got mm, 10 on Bengal and 10 on Bahmanis, so let's just wait a little bit longer to make a claim and start the war. In the meantime, we can get some generals over here. Of course, I've got only three, so let's give three generals to this place and maybe recruit our leaders as generals. Yeah, our king is pretty good. He is 50 years old and not not that good. Then Eri is better, so we should aim on getting him. So if our king dies in a battle, it will not hurt that much. Okay. Can take some military points from Schlachta as my and as my manpower is full, I will not be hurt by the loyalty on such level. Okay, soon I will be able to get rid of this vassal integration act. Our truce with uh, Ottomans just ended, but they are, yeah, you can see that they are not existing practically. So for now, I'm not, I'm not uh, giving a fuck about them. Uh, yeah, we can embrace an institution for four thousands. Uh, Holstein peasants. Okay, I don't care about them. You go to Krakow, maybe. I think we can take one loan, and in a few months we'll be able to embrace the institution. Yeah. And of course, the next ideas that I will take on the 7th, 18th administrative technology will be uh, religious. Because as I said, I do not have one faith achievement of this one. So it's time to do it. Because World Conquest I have already done. And one faith is missing. Okay, next month I will be able to make a claim on Bachmanis. Yeah. Oh, let's maybe take Young Ladesh. Alright, let's take care of, about of Aleppo with this one stack. And let's declare the war. It should be pretty easy. They have, you can see, around 80,000 of army, and they have three less technologies than me because I have 17th. They have just uh, 14 yeah, and a lot of level 2 forts, so that's that should be okay for me. Uh, this stack over here and this one will just carpet siege it slowly, while this one will go on Transoxenia. And everything is just perfect, as always. What can I take from Papacy? Empower. Diplomatic reputation. Let's take taxes. We can always increase our income. It's 256 now. Now. Great. Well, yeah, this battle in Aleppo should be easy. Maybe I'll just cover them by the second stack, but I think it will not be needed. Uh, the ruler of Hunger is excommunicated, but we don't care about that. Mm. Okay, we can now try to use this stack and catch them in Batiana or Multan because they will probably go there. Jan Brozek, a uh, hundred diplomatic power for some money. All right, so let's take one more loan now. Let's embrace the institution. Now we've got an extra merchant, so we can use it in somewhere. I think we can collect trade in Constantinople as we have 62% of trade over here. It's pretty good trade note. Okay, of course, if I get when I get the no chance when I get more merchants, I will be able to transfer it uh, more efficiently to Baltic Sea. And what is that? Constantinople sent collect from trade. Okay, and we can see the power of our army over here. 
Uh, let's see. Ooh. 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 That must hurt. Oh, and I've ended siege over here, so I go farther. We can catch this army. Okay, they're already running away. They know what is coming. Okay, so let's split that army on a half and continue carpet siege. While this stack will go to Mandla, and uh, yeah, in the meantime, I should be able to catch them. Let's see this battle. Hmm. <laughs> okay, now they are outnumbering me, but still I'm able to yeah to rape them. You can see the numbers. And in the meantime, okay, let's now catch this stack. It should be an easy, easy stack wipe, I think. And of course, in 18th months uh, there will be age of reformation. And thanks to that I will be finally able to increase my administrative efficiency. The first... Uh, the first thing from Splendor that I will take will be definitely harsh treatment cost. Which I will use together with my mission over here. Which gives also harsh treatment cost. Here is the Imperial Conquest, but I think it's not needed for now. It's giving uh, some prestige. So maybe if I will need some prestige. I use that. For now, my it is uh, on the constant level of 100. It's not changing at all. Yeah, we are fulfilling our religious unity. You can see, uh, yeah, yeah, a lot of Catholic provinces. Now I'm converting all those Orthodox provinces that I've taken uh, from Byzantium. Okay, this stack might continue, getting close to the capital. Okay, I should be able to piece out Transoxanias in a second. Mm. Of course, I can take something from Papacy, so maybe... Mm, maybe Mercantilism, let's increase it slowly. It's on a level of what right now? 14, so it's a shitty level. We can make, make it better. But of course, we are getting 13 ducats from Constantinople. It could be better, but still I think it's a right increase of our income because it is now on a, on a level of 267. Let's see the next battle over here. Should be once again an easy one. Yes, they're using, they were using, losing a thousand men per, per fig. Yeah. Those losers. Okay, now we are getting uh, to fight on this fort. It's 50,000 of men, so you maybe have to use this stack to help them. I have to, yeah, to look at uh, the Liberty Zai for subjects because maybe Great Britain may, be, may become um, unloyal to me. You can take final the 15th uh, diplomatic. Uh, no, not going there. No, no, no. Okay, Mandla just ended, so let's maybe blop over here and catch them. Yeah, I have the low uh, diplomatic technology because our uh, for over ten years eating the Byzantine Empire, empire as my vassal, and it costed me, uh, I think, almost two thousand points. So that's the reason. But I'm getting back. I think I will not take the new uh, military technology soon, but I'm use, I will use all the points or on harsh treatment. And let's look closer on this battle. <laughs> yeah, win Hussars. You can see that they've lost uh, 16,000 of men. Okay, which general is better? This has two siege, so you will go over here, while this stack will carpet siege. Over here. Delhi insulted me or insulted. I don't remember how to spell it, spell it. I hope that if you will forgive me that. Okay, we can piece out Transoxania, I think. The free force gives us 69% of war score. Mm. Okay, I'm not occupying uh, any forts over here. So they're not accepting our peace offer. 
Okay, the, here is one fort, so let's take it fastly and we will repair a little bit of border go over here. Yeah, and okay, uh, an easy stack wipe over here. We can do, I think, something with Cossacks. Um, maybe. Eh. Yeah, we can increase the influence a little bit, just that's all. Um, we can repay also our loan, not yet. The king of the Jesuits. Let's see. Counter reformation will be removed from Commonwealth, and our king will get some trends of heretics and religious unity until his death. And every single Catholic uh, country will hate me. This one will just keep the counter reformation, and this one will give me some tolerance of the true faith and really proper influence. So I will take definitely the third one. I need uh, the counter reformation, definitely, because it's giving me two missionaries. So yeah, that's perfect. Let's see. All right. Maybe once again. Yes. Uh, I'm thinking. Okay, you can see that I have one missionary from Defender of the Faith, one from Jerusalem, and two from from Counter Reformation. I should definitely also take the Mecca over here to take to get even one more missionary. If I want to make uh, one faith, I have to really fastly convert all these pro newly conquered provinces. Oh, you can see that France has disputed succession. So that's just perfect. The king is 45 years old, so we have pretty high chance of inheriting, uh, of getting um, uh, our uh, dynasty on the throne. But to do that, we have to firstly improve relations with them. Yes, we have. We can still improve it by 20. Maybe we'll be able to, to increase it before the king dies. I hope so. London and Chester, they should be able to fight it. At least I hope so. It's 64,000 of men. Okay, I should maybe help them. So let's transfer one stack on the ship. Because they might not make it. We will see. I can, f I think, yeah, we pay one loan easily. Okay. I can progress with my carpet siege over here. It's already four. Uh, you can see the Brits are <laughs> in the southern uh, India and they are losing over there. But I'm in a second getting the, the capital of Bahmanis. So we should have a lot of war score. It's already 46, it will be with this fort, I think, around 55, maybe 60. Yeah, 54. Let's now go north with this stack and cast the army. As they have only 20,000 over here, with a good rolls, we might uh, stack wipe them. So what I'm wanting to take from this war? Uh, border with Bengal, definitely. And maybe, yeah, maybe, uh, of course I will take as much as possible. Yeah, for one more month we ha we've got decreased uh, the province war score cost, but I think I will not use it because I want to take more. Because I will m create a vas uh, vassal over here to give him some Indian provinces as I'm not able to uh, core, it, uh, core everything. Because I've got enough points, but it would be too much overextension. And we are mm, playing highly. It's a high gameplay. Okay. Mm, it's of absolutes. We can check how many. Uh, yeah, we are fulfilling one mission. Uh, in a second we'll be free, we need to create one more trade company. Mm, we are not able to build university yet, we need 18th administrative technology to do that. Free um, promoted cultures may be done, because we won't win the religious war. 
So first of all, we can promote one more culture and two more when we get one more when we get some diplomatic power. What is more, we can yeah we need to take a province from Goa because uh, let's see our trade companies. Okay, we will create trade company. Yes, uh, in Bengal, I think, if we take the right provinces. Uh, no, we will not be able to do that. So let's take the Surguja. Yes, and now we will be able to create trade company in Bengal. What is more, we should take province near the sea because you, you can see on a port province in India, China, and it will give us one more merchant. So let's let's take something like this. Maybe even this. Yeah, it will be my piece, but that's in the future. Firstly, we sh should piece out Transoxania or Transoxiana. God knows. What about France? Do they like me already? Okay, it's a threatened, but yeah, they would give me royal marriage. Thanks. Now we sh we are able to take from France and Tuscany. Possible. Just. It's just likely. You can see all my vassals just arrived in Transoxiana. Um, let's take as much as possible from them. Mm -hmm. Alright, we've repaired our border goal just a little bit. Now we should core all these provinces. And we've got uh, 30 of extension and that means that we can still get 74 ourselves, but I think I will now focus to focus on conquering the rest of Bachmanis and piecing them out for a hundred percent of war score. So let's still carpet siege them, ref uh, convert the provinces. Our reduce unit is already 92. We can do some interactions with our estates so let's uh, yeah we can take diplomatic power so let's maybe take this guy okay for now let's just this uh, administrative power cool diet definitely yeah and that's just perfect okay we have some rebels mamlukan separatists that's not a problem and you can see that Ming has a war against hmm, Bengal and it's a war conquest. Okay, so they're not, they are not uh, making them uh, their, their vassal, their tributary, but they are conquering them. So that's a chance for me to make, to make a border of this country. Okay, we can go further now. Uh, we are staying. You have a war with Delhi? Yeah, and they have a coalition. Let's see. Yeah, pretty big. Or not. <laughs> Comparing to, to their uh, amount of manpower, army, and development, the coalition is really slow. Uh, <laughs> slow. Really small. Uh, yeah, let's convert one more province. And that's just perfect. Of course, the trade companies uh, are such a good thing. It allows. Okay, I cannot go there. So let's go right this way. Uh, trade companies gives uh, a lot because if you assign province to, to it, for example, Bhakar, it increases the uh, autonomy, and you get, as you can see, out of uh, money from production. Maybe this is not a good. Yeah, right here, 52 for production, it decreased aut autonomy and it is not my full core. So that's how the trade company works. It's a very good thing, it gives a lot. Of course, if my trade company is strong enough in the trade node, it increases, uh, it gives me a free merchant. So that's how I'm gonna uh, increase efficiency of my trade. Let's maybe take manpower recovery speed as we are 
we have lower than a hundred thousand of manpower now. And this stack may go over here. Yes, when we will be able to core every single province from Transoxiana? In more than a year. So that's not bad. Let's go farther with those, these two stacks. Well, of course, we are still converting all the provinces. Yeah, the Europe is almost fu fully Catholic. Uh, what about England? Yeah, they are taking care of this. Anglican Zealots, so I don't have to help them. That's okay. In the meantime... Yes, still... F okay. <laughs> um, no, I'm not safe scamming. You can see that. <laughs> <laughs> Claim from yeah, and we are declaring war <laughs> in a second. Oh, okay, let's uh, maybe prepare two stacks to go attack France. It should be enough. <laughs> okay, <laughs> as I said, I said it a couple of times. I will get the union with France eventually, after some time. And what I'm doing? Getting union with France. Uh, of course, it's not in the first situation that I was able to do that, because a few times we didn't manage to make the union. Okay, the war be, will be against Venice, uh, Savoy, Scotland and Hungary. So, take capital Paris. Confirm. Okay, we can recruit two generals for these two armies. Oh, this is a piece of shit. What about this one. Uh, this is a piece of shit as well. Okay, so firstly, these two stacks will have a job to conquer Hungary and piece them out separately. And then, yeah, then I will have to end this war. Yes. Or maybe, okay, these two stacks over, over here. I have first stack over here, so let's take it to Hungary as well. I have fourth level two, fourth level two, so that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Guess who, French? Jagiellon. I didn't uh, check the... Mm, <coughs> Dynastic map one for a while. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. And yeah, or I also I will have uh, I think yes. After these two wars, I will have five thousand development with the great powers uh, window. All right. Now let's go with these two armies north. But maybe I should. Uh, we will see. Maybe we'll take a few less provinces. Um, something like this, maybe. Or like this. Yes, af just after coring all the, the provinces from Transoxiana. Okay. <laughs> that was too easy. Let's maybe try out the Hungarian army right now. Because we've tried the army of army of Bachmanis, so let's now check how is the Hungarian army doing. Maybe it will be harder to win. Let's see. Yes, I think also that I'm getting the splendor really slowly, so I fulfill this mission uh, for harsh treatment cost. And this one, of course. And uh, let's maybe use our amount of military power to harsh treatment. You can see the cost of harsh treatment on Mamluks, 33. So let's use it. 33, once again. 
And there should be more, it's 60, so we not use it. Kvivan, it's 33. Kazakhstan, 33. Multan, 33. Orthodox, 33. And the same in Khorasan. And now we've got 10 absolutism. And we can, of course, promote the culture, uh, Turkish culture. And thanks that we fulfilled the next mission. And the third will be fulfilled when I uh, create a new trade company. So what about this battle? Yes, it wasn't that easy win. You can see that I've lost almost the same amount of people like them. Let's go to Pest with this stack. What about the... Yeah, they don't have a huge amount of army. Let's see on in the ledger maybe. Armies... Uh, yeah, the France has just 36,000. So that's a joke for me. Let's go here. Okay, when I will call all these provinces, that's some more time. So I think and it's a perfect moment to end this episode during in the middle of these two wars because it's already 31 minutes so i'm creating the next person union in the next episode get ready for that thank you guys very much for watching and see you soon